What's going on guys? Welcome back to another brand new video here on the channel. Hope everyone is doing great and staying safe, man. In today's video, I'm going to be going over how exactly to download Keys 2X and enable double movement on keyboard and mouse. If you haven't heard already, Benji Fishy, who has a good relationship with Epic, said on stream that he contacted Epic about if they allowed remapping software and they basically gave him the green light. Boys, Rewast is allowed now. Boys, Rewast is allowed now. You're allowed to use Rewast. I don't think it's been announced yet, but you're allowed to use Rewast. I made sure before I'm not not getting banned, trust me, I wouldn't, I'm not that dumb. So in the clip, Benji Fishy is actually referring to Rewast, which is essentially the same thing as Keys 2X. The only difference being that you actually have to pay for Rewast. But the thing with Keys 2X is it's free, and a lot of people consider it better because it has like less input delay and stuff like that. But um, I personally never use Rewast, so I can't really speak on that topic. But in this video, we're specifically dealing with Keys 2X, as that's the one I personally, I'm personally using at the moment. The entire community is going crazy right now, with literally everyone saying to try this stuff out. But at the end of the day, you gotta realize Epic hasn't released an official statement letting us know if this is officially allowed or not. And all we really have is Benji's word. And while yes, he is a well-known pro in the community, we still shouldn't take his word for granted and sh you should try this at your own risk. That being said, this video is for educational purposes and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to set up everything along with my personal keys to X settings. So yeah, let's get right into it. All right guys, so here we are in BHE, right? I'm gonna be showing you guys a couple of things you might wanna set up in order to prepare for the stuff we're about to like download. So um yes, yeah, so let's get right into it. So the first thing you need to do is you need to come to come to your settings and you need to go to the keyboard and mouse. And what you're gonna do is make sure you have ignore game put gamepad input as off and lock input method as mouse. You need to make sure that's on, all right? So this is basically gonna help out the actual software. We're actually gonna be installing like a virtual gamepad emulator onto your computer, and the keys to X is gonna be taking advantage of that and switching your WASD binds to an actual controller analog stick input. So then what you need to do after you have this set up here, you need to come over to your controller here. And this is something I personally recommend is you want to turn your uh, your dead zones to five. My controller normally, because of the little bit of drift that I have, I usually have it up to nine. But if you want to take full advantage of this program and actually get that controller movement, you're going to want to set to five. As mentioned in the title, guys, I'm also going to be giving you guys the best settings with this program. So what you're going to need to do next is actually come to the two links in the description. You're going to need to download both of these. You're going to need the keys to X zip. And then you're also going to need the, I don't even know how to say this, the bus setup or whatever. This is the actual drivers for the controller. All right, so obviously I already have the, the stuff downloaded already. So what you're going to need to do next, guys, is you're going to extract the zip folder here. And now you could use Windows, you right click, click extract. But I have this program called 7-Zip. It's just a lot easier to me, a lot more, um, it's just a lot more efficient. So you can just, I'll put the link to this in the description as well if you want to get it. But you should be fine with just default stuff. So you just need to click extract. Just right click if you have 7 zip is extract here windows it might be somewhere else down here and then you have your keys to x input here and you got the the bus stuff here so you need to run this first now this is actually like a um just an emulator i already have this installed so i'm not going to go through it but once you have that installed already uh, i clicked it twice once you have that installed already you need to come over here and actually run this now you're going to hear that plug in thing that's because it's actually simulating an actual controller being plugged in that's the keys to x input taking advantage of this uh the driver slash emulator you installed earlier so um yeah so let's continue so the best settings guys here's what you guys have been waiting for take off block keys i don't even know if you're supposed to have this on or off i just take mine off um but it's one zero and then zero that's literally it one zero 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 you can click save it might create a file as you can see right here that's good. So you want to make sure this file is always with your keys too. Now, you guys do not press this X when you're playing your Fortnite because this will actually fully close this program down. But instead, what you shouldn't do, which is also going to help save and give you some a little bit more performance, I'm assuming, is press the down thing. As you can see, it disappears, but it's still running in the background. If you up click here, you see it's right there. If you click Task Manager, uh, and I scroll down a bit, it's right there. So boom, make sure you guys do not press the X. And as long as it's over here, it's running, you're chilling. So now we're gonna hop back onto Fortnite now. And as you can see guys, I have controller movement. Now the settings I just gave you guys, they're not as strong. This is a little bit, so you kind of get the best of both worlds here. But you know, I definitely recommend doing some research of your own, checking out other settings, trying everything out. But I experimented and stuff, and this is just my favorite so far. 
and again make sure you guys have your dead zones all the way down to the lowest possible because you want to be able to take advantage of this software pool you don't want to be the uh, you don't want the the analog inputs actually be scuffed up because you have um the dead zone settings too high so make sure you have it all the way down the lowest and yeah just enjoy your double movement so how does how does this really help keyboard and mouse players it actually just allows you to it makes you harder to hit basically because you're able to strafe super easily you're able to see a lot more angles now that you couldn't really hit before and if you know if you want to know why control players have such good piece control most of the time it's because they have those like really nice angles which is what you're going to be able to get with this double movement and again none of this stuff is bannable benji fishy obviously he talked to epic he said that you're allowed to use remapping software this is not macroing because instead of making it press two keys at once like what a regular old time software would do which you can actually get banned for this is actually turning your your wasd binds into the analog stick input like i said earlier so you should be fine but at the end of the day epic still hasn't released an official statement so you know try this at your own risk but i think it's fine um definitely a huge thing and what i love about this so much and the fact that epic is actually allowing it is because there's keyboards out there that's already doing this stuff that you have to pay a fortune for but people don't have that kind of money all the time you know you don't have to go out your way to buy an expensive keyboard just to have this double movement now now you can actually get it for free thanks to the keys to x man shout out to the creators of this program this stuff's actually insane but it takes it takes a little bit to get used to i'm not even gonna lie your aim kind of messes up a bit but you know at the end of the day i definitely feel like it's worth trying out seeing if you like it at least but you know like fortnite is one of those games man or if you're not staying up with like the latest meta and stuff you're gonna fall behind the game is naturally gonna get harder you know what i'm saying that's why i think Fortnite's so competitive because there's so much stuff being developed every day and now like third party software is being allowed like you know what i mean it's kind of crazy that's it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed if you guys did learn something and it did help you out make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe it really helps the channel out and um yeah i'll see you all next one man have a great rest of your day guys keep being amazing and peace